What is going on, geeks? I'm back in your life today, not with We Need to Go Deeper, but with an update on We Need to Go Deeper. And this is actually um, an update of an update. Uh, the game has released a tiny little Valentine's Day update, as you can see here, and we're going to be talking about that today. So if you're here for an update on my Let's Play of this series, stay tuned till the end. I will talk about that a bit more. Um, and if you were here for an ARC video, as that is what brought most of you guys to my channel, don't freak out, because I know what you're not getting one today, but you are getting a good one tomorrow. I didn't have anything for Valentine's Day, and our last recording session of We Need to Go Deeper didn't go so well. So I'm going to talk about this instead. Hopefully it brings some new people, and you might want to check out the series. So, um, let's dive into this. Sorry, let's get into this. Couldn't resist the pun there. Um, okay. So if you guys have this game, you may have had some of the same trouble we have. I'm going to scroll down here and you can check out uh, the two most important features, password protected lobbies. Me and a group of three other YouTubers went to go play this game and we continually had freaks jumping in. And even worse, we couldn't even tell them to go away because the game's in early access, very early access. So be calm, be, calm, be cool if you're buying this game. It's only a few guys working on it and I think they're doing their best to make it work. So password protected lobbies for lovers in need of a little more privacy. If you were trying to record this game or play with just your friends, this is a welcome addition and lobby chat because if you do have a public game and you want to tell somebody to get lost, now you can or... If you're not over voice chat like YouTubers tend to be, this is going to be really beneficial. All right, and beyond that, guys, we have got new content. So I'm going to scroll down to that section. So the rose item. Now, there'll be a picture of this a little further on. Show everyone how much your love is worth by sinking a fortune on this beautiful flower. If you played the game, you know that by going into caves, you end up with gold you can spend on items to customize your character. Let's take a peek. Yeah, so... Uh, that is new. New hats to showcase your romantic side. Romeo, Juliet, and St. Valentine's Day hats now available in the catalog. The only one I get a picture of down here is this, which I believe to be the Romeo hat, hence this little thing right here. Um, and that's a, that looks like a much more sultry bed than we had in our first version. Um, so uh, we're excited to see that. So let me, let me get this on your screen. Uh, and you're probably going to have to get into the game to see the Juliet and the St. Valentine's hats. I have no idea how they're going to turn out, but I'm looking forward to it. So an additional hat to show off your goat side. Our goat lord has been rewarded for this hat. What for his hat suggestion? His followers will be most pleased. Now, I have no idea what that means, but it, it seems like there's going to be a giant goat head hat. Kind of cool. At least there's cool ways to make your characters unique. Uh, when we hopped on the day before the game came out, we ended up looking mostly like each other, but that works. And the Lover's Tragedy Elixir, a new mysterious elixir that has found its way into the caves. So you're going to have to get into one of those undersea caves, explore it, fight off the crabs and clams. And alongside treasure, it looks like you might be finding this. And I don't know if this is just for a little while or if this is a permanent item. And I have no idea what it's going to do. Drink it and be with your loved ones for all eternity. Now that, to me, implies a little Romeo and Juliet where, where they both drink the poison and, and it kills them both. So I don't know. And I don't know how that's going to work in game. Now, this is key balance. So when we played the game our first time, we did it all in one night. And when we went to get together for the second time, we had a battle plan. We had battle stations in mind. And, and um, a much needed feature, I would say, is this. Increasing power to the cannon increases its rotation speed. So if you haven't played in the engine room, you get a guy down there that can that can take the resources and, and put them into different parts of the ship. And um, when we played, putting three power to the cannon only opened up a third torpedo slot, which was really hard to keep full with a guy firing weapons like crazy. Um, so your weapons will aim faster. That is super useful. So the AIDM, I assume that's the AI, uh, I don't know what the DM part stands for, you can tell me in the comments, is better at predicting the amount of rest time needed after an onslaught of enemies. Okay, so if you're getting beat up and your ship's about to go down and you fight them all off, it seems like it's going to give you a little more time or it's going to be better at predicting that time, which is great. And the AIDM can now spawn enemies down on you if you sit too long with shields off mid-level. Now that's fascinating because when we played, guys, we would fight off uh, we would fight off whatever crazy sharks and marlins were attacking us. And we'd go, whew, and we'd chill. And we'd fix it, things up and, and we'd go, okay, anyone need a bathroom break? And then we'd hop back in the sub and we'd go. It sounds like you're not going to be able to just hang out anymore. Um, 
or if you do, you're going to have to have your shields on max, which is totally doable. Uh, and the gold multiplier increases every time you change, uh, sorry, every time your water type changes. What is your water type? Um, so maybe we didn't get deep enough to see a second water type. I don't know. We got to a little over a thousand fathoms on our, our best dive. So that is an interesting feature. I have no idea what it's going to be. These are better. Better error reporting and status. Uh, sorry, better error reporting and status reporting when creating games and joining online games. That's kind of key. We had a lot of trouble. Even when we didn't have random people jumping into our four-way lobby, what we had was three of us in and the fourth person could not get in. We tried taking turns joining the game. We tried all trying to join the game all at once. And each of the four of us tried hosting and having the other guys join. And at no point could we get the fourth player in. Whoever tried to join fourth would have a failed to connect message. It was infuriating. So I've been in touch with the devs on Twitter and they said they're getting a little better at it every day. And that's it, guys. It's early access. If you buy and play early access games, you should know there's going to be some stuff that 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 you, it's going to it's going to wreck your day from time to time and um there's only a few of these guys making this game so be cool better error handling in crash prone pieces of the game's internal restart so we found when we would jump out of a lobby the game basically restarts itself it doesn't quite turn off and turn back on but it essentially goes through that process and um, we did have guys whose game crashed so this is good stuff it means that the guys developing the game are going to be able to see what's going on and they're going to be better at um, dealing with it so i think i'm going to just scroll down to this picture i hope i've shown you everything you need to see guys but happy sorry sensual diving everyone and that's it that's the valentine's update i'm gonna just scroll so this picture is on your screen and um if you're still watching, guys, and you haven't seen my series of this game, we made two episodes, and um, they're going to come up at the end of the video for you to check out. Uh, and if you have been watching and you're eager to see more, I'll tell you this. This update should fix things. If it doesn't and we get together again and we can't get in the same lobby and we can't record, the next big update is March 8th. So there will be no we need to go deeper video this week and if we can't get together and get them recorded there might not be any until after march 8th but this is a game i like and one i want to make part of my channel uh, throughout the rest of this winter if we can make it happen um, we had a ton of fun and i do recommend this i will say there are issues there are bugs it is early access but we had such a good time if you can get your friends in the same game all this is good now, another thing for me, guys, uh, a goal of mine this uh, winter, February and March, is to set a schedule, to keep a schedule and to try and bring it to you guys every week so that if you dig we need to go deeper, you don't have to go when is the next one coming. We'll do it maybe on Mondays, for example, and, and you'll know every Monday you can check back and see more we need to go deeper. That's my goal. So when you do see the game come back, the day that it comes back is probably going to be the regular day, but you'll see in the recording. I'll let you know at the end of each episode when we're going to be back with the next one, or I will try my best to. And when it comes to me keeping a schedule, this is a brand new thing. For the whole life of my channel, I've just uploaded when and where it was convenient. And I think for you guys and the way YouTube works these days, it's going to be really beneficial to know when and where to find the episodes you love. Guys, I think that does it. Like I said, if you have not seen my series so far, there are two episodes. Click on the thing that's coming up on your screen right now. That's the playlist. Go check it out. Get into it and see if this is a game for you or if this is a series you're going to want to watch when we eventually get back to recording this thing. For now, all I have is this update for you guys. If you're brand new, check out that playlist. And um, if you're excited to see more, hit me up in those comments with your excitement, your questions, whatever. I'm Unite the Clans. Thank you for checking out this Valentine's Day update, update vid for We Need to Go Deeper, and I will see you guys hopefully in the next episode of We Need to Go Deeper.